some people end up with dysfunction for all kinds of different reasons. Sometimes it could be mental. Sometimes it could be heart related. Sometimes it could be, uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different reasons on why it can happen, but this will help get, I mean, this literally, I mean, I think that people think that penis pumps, they just think they're a joke and they don't think they do anything, but mm -hmm. they can be used. What's up guys. It's your boy from authentic alphas. No other than Allende. So you could tell by that clip right there and probably whatever thumbnail that I choose what this video is going to be about. So I guess I should probably start off by saying if you're going to come here with an immature attitude, um, if you have no genuine interest in this, it's for educational purposes. So it's not for you. All right. So don't come over here. I don't know for entertainment. This isn't about entertainment. This is about education. Uh, don't come over here judgmental. Don't come over here with any discouraging comments. This video is for the many, many, many guys that have been emailing me about it because maybe on one or two videos I mentioned that I happen to know for a fact um, that pumps do work. I can't vouch for pumps in general. I can vouch for the brand that I've used, that I was recommended, that I chose. Um, I'm on my second one. The first one worked. The second one worked. I no longer use it. Um, it was an occupational thing. I needed it for work, but um, because I know that it works, I'm sharing this information with the guys who need it. Now, this clip from this particular podcast that I chose um, is one because it actually reminded me to make a video about it because people kept asking, and it's obviously not something that I really am thinking about nowadays. It was a different time in my life. It was very, very helpful for what I needed it for. Um, it did increase my income. I made a lot more money uh, being a performer and an entertainer for women, being able to, I don't know if you want to use the word compete with the other guys or because um, it was really, it really wasn't an advantage because all the other guys had it, which is why I was like, damn, like, I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need one. But I was fascinated at the fact that it worked. But anyway, the reason why I chose this podcast is, you know, one, because it came across my um, my uh, my homepage, which means that your phones probably really do listen to you. Um, and also this particular dude that's talking, um, I really like the black guy. I really like his delivery. I, I probably will start to watch his podcast more and more just to kind of learn how to be, how to be better, um, as a host, but the white guy, um, he wrote some, some, some articles that I read a long, long time ago. And, um, he also came out with a documentary. Now, neither had anything to do with pumps. Um, he was actually the deciding factor or, um, his information is actually what made me change my outlook on um, uh, PEDs. So let's get into it. Let's see what he has to say. Sometimes in porn, it's like sometimes like some <laughs> weird ass dude. You brought us here. Who's got some giant <laughs> hands. Mm, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> um, nah, I've seen quite, like it's interesting. And it's, Sam has researched this quite a bit and he found mm -hmm. out that the women have really small hands. So guys... Oh, Go ahead and yeah. feel good about yourselves or feel okay about yourself. Like real talk, I mean, if, if, you, if, you're, if you're watching and you're like, damn, their dicks are so big, just realize the women are really tiny and their hands are small, which is why it looks like they're handling a massive hog. I just tell my wife all the time, like, it's, <laughs> it's a video, you know, it's a movie, you know, it's like special effects. Like people don't, people aren't really walking around with dicks like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's impossible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do like uh, that because now it's like, okay, like, you know, people always like, oh, this guy's on stuff. And, you know, because like bodybuilders, right, they get smaller, they get leaner and their yeah. muscles look bigger. Yeah. So it's, I guess, the same thing with these dudes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So they mentioned that watching porn uh, could be one of the reasons why some guys are a little bit insecure about the size of their manhood. Now, I personally don't watch porn. Never really was into it. Nothing wrong with it. Just doesn't float my boat. Neither does masturbating. So that was probably the biggest uh, issue that I had with the pump is that I really am not interested in playing with myself. Uh, for 30 minutes a day, but they work, right? That's what we're talking about here. So I guess looking at guys in porn could be um, similar to me looking at the guys that I was working at at the club. So up until that point in my career, it was never an issue because the cities that I was dancing in, the guys performed like flaccid, you know what I'm saying? Not that you're like erect uh, when you use the pump, but it's just way too much to explain. But anyway, you'll see some uh, examples of that. I'm actually working on editing a video that gives you guys kind of like an inside look at what male dancers do, uh, what kind of takes place at bachelorette parties and like, you know, what the girls are, are really doing and how the guys are interacting with them. So up until that point, 
size wasn't really too much of an issue. I mean, obviously to an extent, you know, when your shit's flaccid and it's in your, your, your it's called a uh, fullback. But anyway, the girls can kind of see what's going on with you when you're flaccid. Now, when I decided to go to Houston, uh, I was trying to multitask. I wanted to visit some family and I also wanted to visit the sister club as the company that I worked for was actually a franchise. It started in Dallas. Um, they opened up one, I think, in Austin, then Tex uh, Houston, Texas. Then they opened up a location in Fort Lauderdale, which is where I was working. Then they opened up, sorry, online. They opened up one in Miami first, uh, then Fort Lauderdale. And then the Miami one closed and they opened up another Miami one. Anyway, I hadn't um, did any of the black circuits up until that point yet. And all the black circuits, that's what the guys are doing. Um, the guys are all swinging their junk around or whatever, and they're all like, you know, getting it hard so that it's bigger, so that it's a showpiece and it gets the girl's attention and all this other kind of stuff. You, you already know. I was accustomed to in my career up until that point um, was, you know, maximizing on your costume, your stage presence, your choreography, your show concepts, and obviously also, you know, your body being in the best shape that you can be. So up until that point, that's kind of what I was focusing on. Once I got around these guys in, in Houston, primarily, if not like they were all black guys, it was a different ball game over there. Everybody had, you know, 10 inches, 11 inches. One guy even had 13 inches. And um, it was to the point where women were actually coming to me and asking me, yo, you know, why you ain't even hard? You already know it was the sisters that had the gall to come out and say that to your face. But um, I realized quickly that this was why I wasn't making the type of money that I was used to making in my home location. So I knew quickly that this is a different environment. Um, these are one of the things that are required um, to get the women's attention and to make the money here. So I started talking to the guys and to my surprise, um, these guys weren't born like that. And we, like I knew they were using pumps because they were using the pumps at work. Um, so, you know, in conversation and talking to, to the older guys, I learned really fast that pumps absolutely do work. All right. So let's see what's the rest of what they have to say. And then I'm going to pretty much wrap it up and tell you what my experience with them was. I'm going to give you, you know, as much information as I guess I can. Um, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. Man, I've been working that penis pump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you yeah. didn't put it into use. How yeah, do you like every, it? every other day. Um, because it's literally like it's supposed to be like a workout regimen. Mm -hmm. Like you're sitting there with your... You got your, your nuts in there. You, well, you can't. Or have you not done There's that? two. There, I mean, there's the one that you can put your your, wow. your dick and your nuts in it. But there's also the one that... The full if, package, mm -hmm. we'll call it. Yeah. <laughs> there's also the one that if you just get yourself hard, then you just sit there and you pump away. Mm -hmm. And I've been not like... It, first thing is, it is crazy because the pump literally pumps more blood into your dick. Um, so you're sitting there and you're like, wow, it can actually be <laughs> this big because it's like, it's pumping extra blood and mm -hmm. your penis expands, but it expands even more. And you're just like, wow, I have this ability. This is here. Like the whole you're, time. Like, yeah. you're like, I got to show somebody this. <laughs> like, I got to just snap this. Picture. Okay. So, um, I guess he's saying that he used it like every other day and he's getting great results with it so much. So it's like, yo, I got to show somebody, man. <laughs> I got to take a picture. Um, absolutely. Thing is, I wasn't using it every other day. I was using it every day, if not sometimes maybe twice a day. So I don't know, maybe it worked for me a little bit faster than some. I'm not really sure. I don't know what's going on in other guys' uh, you know, bedroom. But for me personally, it absolutely did work. Um, like I said, I was using it every day, some days twice a day. But granted, I had a lot of free time on my hands when I was in Houston because I wasn't home. I was visiting Houston, so I really had nothing to do all day except for uh, eat, sleep, lift weights, uh, eat, sleep some more, <laughs> and um, go perform. <laughs> oh, and I wasn't getting any um, groupie love either. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't getting laid when I was in Houston. So I definitely had a lot of free time, man. I wasn't doing anything but the gym and work. So that's how that went for me. Right. It is supposed to help with like the, um, it is supposed to like make the veins within mm -hmm. your dick a little bit more uh, able to mm -hmm. handle more blood flow. Right. And it helps the health. Like this is quite literally helping our prostate or our dick health. Yeah. And so, it was something about like uh, some kind of like atrophied mus muscles or muscle tissue or something in there that this mm -hmm. will help or some shit like that. Yeah, dude. This is, this is wild stuff. Yeah. Well, it's uh, what, use it or lose it, right? Mm -hmm. And so like for uh, some people end up with dysfunction for all kinds of different reasons. Sometimes it could be mental. Sometimes it could be heart related. Sometimes it mm -hmm. could be uh, 
I mean, there's, there's a lot of different reasons on why it can happen, but this will help get, I mean, this literally, I mean, I think that people think that penis pumps, they just think they're a joke and they don't think they do anything, but mm -hmm. they can be useful. They yeah. can help get some blood flow to the area. Uh, Didn't Leo give you a whole thing on like how, what you, like yeah, the benefits? Yeah, he knows fucking everything about them. So yeah. he's got like a training protocol. And if, uh, did you, you didn't open it yet. Okay. I still like, haven't opened it yet. Yo, in this, it's from Joe Kaplan. You Maybe go. you can bring up the oh, brand yeah. just if any of our, cause it I works. It's his. It's his. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any dangers? Like, has you like over pumped or like, Oh, you can definitely do, get yourself into some trouble. You can, but like the manual says like, do not go over 10. There's, there's like the, mm. the thing, right? It goes all the way up to 30. You're not even supposed to touch 10. Mm. And for your first few to get your dick used to it, it's like you start a little Does bit more. Does it have lower. a battery or something in it? No, no it's dude. Got a pump, like, it's, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a hand pump. It's a hand pump, bro. All right. So it's, yeah, it's definitely man powered. No batteries needed. <laughs> Self operated. And, um, there is a lot of other benefits in it, but I mean, honestly, I wasn't using it to help my prostate or anything like that, but uh, it does increase blood flow, absolutely. Um, and it just gives you an overall a better, I guess, mental experience. So I, I could see how like guys having issues with size could affect their manhood overall, like how they feel about themselves. Similar to how women feel when they can't give birth. You know, when a woman um, is barren, it's almost like she, she feels like she's a defective woman. And I guess by definition, she kind of is. Because, I mean, women are here to make babies. So if you can't make babies, it's like, you know, hope you can bake a mean apple pie. Um, so, yeah, man, I definitely see how it could be issues for, for guys. Like I said, for me, the, um, the, the, the inadequacy um, was not in the size. It was not in my personal life. It wasn't in my sex life. I never had women have anything negative. Um, so all that was all good for me. For me, it was purely financial. You know, I, I came into a situation where uh, having an above average size junk wasn't good enough. Like it needed to be, you know, a spectacle. Like it needed to be something that was extremely um, exaggerated or, you know, well above the norm because that's just the standard that they had set and that's just what the women were used to um so after using it after getting that improvement the money increased instantly like instantly but it is what it is it's like the more results that i got from the pump the more money that i made so go figure um and it, it definitely does put you on somewhat of a, a, like a mental high um, when you have women responding like that. When you have women that are just like, they can't, they can't. You, you know, it's kind of like when the women are complaining because when guys are talking to them, the guys are like in their cleavage the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole time the guy's in her titties and he's not making eye contact and he's not really paying attention to what she's saying and, and women get like, like, like ticked off. It's like that, you know what I mean? Like the whole time the girl's interacting with you, she's like distracted. You know what I mean? Distracted by your junk. Um, but I guess for us, we don't get offended by it. We don't get irritated by it. It, it kind of definitely strokes your ego, guys. So I'm not trying to sell you on it. They're not, it's not, it's not my, one of my sponsors or anything like that. I'm just being honest and I'm, and I'm trying to help guys improve in certain areas um, in their life that are obviously important to them. It's obviously an issue to them. If you're like a skinny guy and you really want to gain weight, you put on some muscle mass, Eh, it's a serious issue for that particular guy. It's a priority for that particular guy. Um, much like the size of your manhood. If that's an issue for you, it's really going to be hard to perform with a woman if you feel like you're underachieving. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the next question. Uh, bring some more peeps on the show to talk about sex type stuff mm -hmm. and sexual performance. Cause yeah. I, I've actually had a lot of friends hit me up like kind of independently and they're like, bro, like I got some, I got some serious issues going on and I'm really happy that you guys are talking about mm -hmm. it all the uh, way from, you know, uh, erectile dysfunction all the way to like people being like really addicted to porn. Mm -hmm. And again, it's like, it's, we're guys. So we like joke about everything, but like a lot of the stuff is like really serious. If you have, uh, if you have like your connection to being a man is kind of your man parts. And if your man parts ain't working, yeah. uh, it's, it, it will set your whole body off in a way that doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's not good. And so we need more people to talk about it. We need more people to be able to help people uh, get out of these predicaments. I also have the intention of uh, bringing people on that are going to talk about these type of issues, you know, things like sex. Uh, you see, I'm here talking about things like the pump. So these, these, these issues are, are, are pretty serious. You know, like I said, they, they stray away from the entertainment and more towards the educational. 
So definitely here to try to help men find solutions for things that um, that are a concern for them, right? Um, so yeah, those guys said what they said, and I'm gonna definitely put the link to the entire video in the description. You guys should sub to that particular channel. They do have a lot of useful information that can help men. And now I'm gonna go ahead and talk more about my personal experience with the thing, with the thing, right? Okay, so um, like I was saying, I can't talk about like pumps in general. I didn't try a gang of pumps. Um, I tried two. Um, I, 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 I was suggested, I think, one with a particular design. So my first one was awesome. It worked great, it worked perfect. It eventually broke. They're actually somewhat fragile. So it actually uh, broke, but, but what I will say is it broke like later. Like it broke like when I kind of came back to it, right? So let's just take it from the top. So anyway, I bought one. I spent about 175 bucks. And let me just, all right. So I'm not gonna be saying pause, pause, pause throughout the whole fucking video. If you're like childish and immature, like click off or just shut the fuck up. Um, so anyway, this bad boy I think is like three years old, right? This is a replacement. So the brand is Cult. So the first one I bought was Cult. I don't know the rest of the name. The brand is Cult, the model, I don't know. Look it up, right? Um, so this is the pump itself, right? This is the gauge, this is the handle, this is the tube. As you can see, a lot of wear and tear on it. I've, I've traveled with it, brought it to many countries, used it, whatever. Um, now this is the cylinder. All right, so you can see my hands, my body for reference of size. This is the cylinder, right? Now, let's get into it. So this is not my initial pump, but it's the same one. But this isn't like the actual first one that I bought. It's just the same model. So uh, I bought the pump. I used it for about 90 days, and I gained two inches, right? Now, depending on how big you are, is what cylinder you're going to start with. So the smallest one I think is seven. I think the smallest cylinder they have is seven. And this one I think should be the nine. So if I remember correctly, there's a seven, a nine, and a 12. Now this is very, very important because this is how you know these bad boys work. So I started off with the nine. Um, and after three months, I gained uh, two inches of using it, like I said, every day, if not twice a day. So at the time I was willing to de dedicate a lot of time to it because it was, it was, it was about my, my money, right? Um, but what happened was I ended up t t having to stop using it because um, it, it worked so well. So it got to the point where I couldn't, I couldn't fit everything in there. So I had to be like a little bit out of there. And when you're not all the way in there, it's not as effective. So. I couldn't use my pump anymore. Uh, so I was gonna shop around for the 12, the 12 cylinder, but I went back to Florida. Let me be honest with you guys, I went back to, to Florida. And once I got back to Florida, I stopped using it. That was the end of that. Um, so yeah, I didn't use it for the longest. And I think at some point in time, I, I tried to go back to use it just for like, um, recreational purposes, not to gain any length, because like I said, it's not it's not going to make your shit bigger if you don't use it like frequently, like daily. It's not going to make your shit bigger. So there are some people that use it just for like performance. They literally use it just for like one day before they hook up with a chick. So I kind of was using it sort of like that, and through traveling with it, it broke. Like this whole shit broke off. As you can see, this one broke too, but I fixed this one, and I tried replacing it with another model. The other model didn't work as well. So that's when I learned all pumps are not created equal. Um, okay, so real quick, he was like, say, I guess saying some things that could be negative, like you definitely can't hurt yourself with it. I heard one guy put himself in the hospital with it, but he was obviously being obsessive. He went way past the pressure that you're gonna go past and you're gonna know when to stop because it hurts. Oh, that's one thing I should probably tell you guys. It hurts. I don't know why I left that out, it hurts. Um, it's not unbearable, and I'm sure some people have a higher tolerance than me. Um, but it definitely does hurt, but so does lifting weights. So does being sore after workouts. So I guess it's just definitely part of the game. There is some discomfort and some pain involved. Um, and kind of 
So, so you gotta understand, I didn't like read the manual. I didn't like look it up. I didn't watch YouTube videos. I just spoke to over a dozen guys who owned them and used them daily and to kind of understand how to use them. And basically, like my boy Polo, the way he explained it, he's like, you ever had socks? And then like you stretch the sock out and the sock gets longer. I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, that's kind of how, how it works. Um, but anyway, kind of how the guys explained it to me was what you want to do is you want to obviously lubricate. You want to pump up and um, you want to kind of get to where your tolerance is, like as much as, you know, much blood as you can force in there, as much pain as you can tolerate. And then you want to hold it. Um, you want to just hold it for like 20 minutes and then um, you want to rest for like five minutes or whatever, like rest it, you know, let the pressure out you know, for like five minutes or whatever, and then repeat. So it's pretty much like reps um, and you can kind of gradually build yourself up. You can hold for maybe five minutes or I don't know, hold for like 10 minutes, then maybe hold for 15, then maybe hold for 20 and gradually work your way up. I just kind of like went for like 20, like right out the gate. Um, and I would, but what I did was I incremented up the reps. I didn't really increment the time too much. I incremented the reps. So I started off with pretty much 15 to 20 minutes at a time of keeping the blood in there and the pressure on it. Um, but I started off, I think like kind of like just one rep and then I kind of kind of went into like two reps and the most I went was like three. Now just think about this time-wise, bro. Think about this, you know what I mean? You're doing 10 to 20 minutes, you know? two to three times so so 20 minutes can become 30 minutes and 30 minutes can become 40 minutes real fast so like i said guys it's time consuming bro that's the thing i hate about it it's time consuming and if i had to be honest handling the bible the reason why i really stopped using it was because one i just don't have time for that shit bro you know with all the things i have to do like i'll tell myself consciously man i should put in some 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 reps on the on the pump but I don't have time. And even if I do it like one day, I won't have time the next day. And like I said, it has to be consistent. If it's not consistent, it's not gonna make it any bigger. It's not gonna grow. Now, let's talk about negative experiences. So the only really like bad experience I had with it, or I would say the worst experience I have with it, or the thing that made me be like, yo, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm throwing it in the closet. One night at the club, the hot white chick, right? And she was like a stripper. Brunette, and she's with another chick that's a blonde. Both of them were like 22, 23 years old each, right? And I liked the brunette, but the blonde liked my boy, Lolo. And Lolo was like an older dude. Like how old I, old, how old I am now is how old Lolo was at the time. So at the time, Lolo was 40, and I was about, uh, I was about 30. I was about 30 at the time, right? And this guy, no, I was younger than 30, I'm lying. I was, I was like 27, 28 actually. And Lowe was like coming up on 30. He was like 38. Okay, now correct. Because I've known this guy for years, you know, since. So anyway, um, she had liked him. So I was trying to like see if we could do the double, the double up thing after the club. So I went to Lowe and I was like, Lowe, you know what I'm saying? He's these two sexy ass white chicks and the blonde likes you. And I showed them to him, you know, from a distance. Like, yo, these two chicks right here. And Lowe just straight up was like, yo, man, is she spending any money? And I was like, I mean, they, they kind of spending some money. He's like, listen, I ain't got time for it, bro. He's like, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it ain't about no real money, I don't have time for it. So, you know, I was, you know, still kind of like in a, a rookie phase, and um, I really wanted to take take this uh, this chick home. So I was like, damn, it sounds like it's not going anywhere because it's the two of them, and Lo ain't with it. So I had to like kind of go back and try to like deliver this this rejection, this news to her. So I kind of went over there and I'm telling him like, yeah, man, he's really not interested or whatever. And then. Um, Man, to my surprise, the chicks kind of like talked amongst each other real quick, kind of like, and then they were like, "All right, well, um, you know, we'll both we'll both go with you." And I was like, "Eureka!" Um, because personally, I hadn't had a threesome in a long, like a long time, and it had nothing to do with like the club or work. It was long before I even started dancing. I had hooked up with uh, with two college chicks, and one of them was moving, like one of them was like going away. She was leaving the state, moving, and they were like really close friends. And it was a similar scenario. I brought them over my crib, and uh, my boy was trying to get at one of them, the other one, and she wasn't feeling him. So I tried to put my cousin on with her, and he was at, you know, we, we, me and my cousin were living together at the time. So I tried to put my cousin on to it, and she straight up came and told me, she was like, your cousin's ugly. I was like, 
fuck? Like, <laughs> damn, you know? But but I but I still was able to like hook up with the friend. So I hooked up with the friend, and then afterwards she went outside to talk to her friend. And I'm talking to my cousin, like, yo, what happened? And he's telling me, nah, man, she wasn't about nothing. We were just watching TV. And um, you know, she she wasn't she wasn't down. And I was like, ah, well, you know, it happens or whatever. So I was like, all right, let me go check on the girls. So I went outside to go see what was up with them, and once again, Eureka! You know what I'm saying? They like she was like, yo, my my friend, me and my friend want to share you. So I was like, word. So I had a, a, a I had a sturdy round two game back then. So I was like, let's do, let's does it. So I brought them both in the room, did what it did. You know what I mean? So that was like three years prior, maybe even four years prior to this night that I'm talking about the club, when Lo wasn't with it. So when the girls were like, we both want to leave with you, I was like, oh shit, you know, I don't even think about threesomes, but yo, the higgle, the second one falling in my lap. So I never like pursued a threesome in my life. Not that I don't know how to go about it. I just never pursued them. Any, anytime I ever had it, it came to me. So I was like, all right, bet, let's do it. So I went home with these two chicks. I took them both home, right? Well, to my cousin's place, actually, because I was staying at my cousin's place. He was hardly ever there. He was mostly at his girl's place. So I'm staying at my cousin's crib, um, and I'm trying to entertain these two chicks, right? So I get the drinks out, whatever, whatever. And uh, next thing you know, my cousin comes home abruptly. And I'm like, oh, shit. So my cousin comes home. I got these two, you know, hot-ass white chicks in the crib. My cousin's just looking at me like, really? And I was like, eh, you know, whatever. So my cousin's like, yo, what's up? What's up? Which one you messing with? And I was like, apparently both. Um... But I'm a, not a selfish dude, so I tried to put I tried to put my cousin on. So I told the blonde chick, "Yo, why don't you go over there and go dance on my cousin?" So she goes and she gives my cousin a lap dance, grinds on my cousin or whatever, and um, that's it, man. She wasn't feeling him, so it was like the same thing all over again, man. She wasn't feeling my cousin, so my cousin was like, "Yo, man, I don't really got time for this anyway." He's like, "Yo, I'm out of here," you know what I'm saying? I'm out. I got some chicks waiting on me anyway. So I was like, "All right, man, we out." So he was in and out in like 30 minutes or less. So. Now I'm getting into it with these two chicks, and this is the worst experience that I've ever had with this. So, um, yeah, man, I couldn't, I couldn't really operate, you know what I'm saying? And it never had happened to me before in my life. And it was to the point where the chick was like, she was looking at me, she was like, is it me? And I'm like, well, shit, if it was you, it would have to be you and her. And I was like, honestly, this has never happened to me before. And she looked at me like, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, man, that sucked, bro. Like, my, it, my, it didn't work. But it didn't work because I had been, you know, using it so much. I had been using it like all day, and then I worked, you know. So I, I performed with my shit tied up all, all, all night. So yeah, man, I, we ended up just going to sleep. And the next morning, my, my other cousin came over, and I heard him coming up the steps. So I looked out the window, I saw my cousin coming up. So I just went and jumped back in the bed, you know, and got in between these two chicks. They were both sleeping, and I just pretended like I was asleep, you know. So when my cousin opened up the door, you know, I'm just like, hey, what's up, bro? My cousin's like, what the? I was like, yeah, man, you know, oh, you know how it is. It's like, it was like a puffy video. And my cousin just was like, man. He was like, bro, you, you doing it? And I was like, yeah. And that's probably like the only time I like lied to my cousin, you know, because I was so embarrassed, you know, that I couldn't perform the night before that I just kind of like let him believe that I, that, I, that I had these two hot chicks the night before. But I, but I really didn't, bro. We literally, we literally just slept. And then we went to breakfast the next morning and they were so like irritated with me. And they just were like, all right, man. And they left. And I never spoke to either one of them again. And that's the only bad experience that I've ever had with it. And like I said, it wasn't the pump's fault. It was because I was using it so frequently and because I was uh, working. I was working that whole night with my shit tied up. So my shit was kind of already exhausted. So little note to self, if you are going to operate with it and you are using it for actual size enlargement. And keep in mind, guys, you know I'm always asking the ladies, what do you prefer, length or girth? And 90% of the time, the girls say girth. Well, I got good news for you. The pump actually increases both length and girth. So I probably left that out. Yeah, not only did I gain two inches with it in 90 days, but I also gained um, width. Although I didn't measure the increase in width, they definitely was an increase in width. So that's just awesome news, right? So that was my worst experience with it, guys. Just being basically honest. what I'm telling you guys. I was like, no, the pumps work. I know, because I had one. It worked. He's like, like, what? I was like, I swear to God. Um, so he was like, well, you know, where do I get it? Which one do I get or whatever? So I, I helped him find one. 
and I couldn't resist the temptation to buy another one. Like I helped them find them and I was like, they only had two more left in the store and the guy was like talking about it's difficult to order them, they're hard to find, this particular one. And I just was like, you know what? I got a couple of hundred bucks I could, I could spare. Um, yeah, so I bought another one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I don't use it anymore. My girlfriend hates it, um, but um, yeah, man, get one. So anyway, this I don't think is available anymore simply because they are on a newer model now. So they have like the same technology or whatever, but they have a newer one. And this is what the newer one looks like. So as you can see, it's really similar, but it's just upgraded. I don't know how much better it works. I don't know how much more comfortable it is, but I know that as far as brands are concerned, I um, can honestly say that I have faith in the cult. So that's pretty much um, you know all I can really say about it, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna get like too much, too much into detail. I'm not like really here for like dick pump tech support, um, but it does work. So for all you guys emailing me with your like a million and one questions, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I don't have time to answer everybody. I don't have time to explain this shit to everybody. Just be happy and grateful that I that I've went this far with it. Um, but I will say, like everyone else, my time is valuable, my time is money. So if you want to book me for a consult, that's one thing. But if you're going to be like asking me questions and emailing me questions, well, I'm, no, I'm not going to be like talking to you about your dick and how to help you with your dick, right? So that's how that works. I'll put my email in the description too uh, for the guys that do want um, some consults on, on any topics that I could help with. And um, what more can I say? If you're interested in it, try it. It works for me so much so that if I ever needed it again, I could always go back and get it. So I'm confident that if I need it, I could just brush the dust off this bad boy and get to work. Um, one tip I will give you is definitely use KY. Um, use the gel. Don't use like liquid-based lube. If you're using liquid-based lube, first of all, you're an idiot. It's not enjoyable for you or women. So don't use liquid-based gel. I don't know who does that. I don't even know why it exists, but the... the, but the um, I mean, sorry, I mean, sorry, don't, yeah, I'm sorry, don't use, what am I saying, oil? I don't know, man, I'm not a lube expert. What I'm saying is use the one that's a gel that's water-based. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, so um, do what you got to do, man. I'm out of here. Peace.